just don't press the red button, CD. tripping out since I uh, lit up the fire, but whatever. You're just gonna do whatever you want anyways. Eat it. Stop shaking, Daniel. So there's no time for you to get all tripped out. Well then, that was a thing. Not really sure what just happened, but a thing. Protect the ghost bomb. Jump with me. Jump, jump, jump. Trust me and we will jump from the city. Look at that. Hey look, a tander box. Oh god. I'm probably playing this game really horribly. Oh no! Water, the spookiest of things. Picked up some oil. Gonna light this candle. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected. But many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Cool. Looks like I'm gonna check out the wine cellar. Dun dun dun. Um. There should be more poop right. Hey, look, we got room. One part aqua fortis. My third attempt to procure artificial vitate. The former compounds lacked the potency I needed. But I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the kerpite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regea instead of aqua fortis, in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. I fucked up. The solution was bullshit. And it was highly impractical. Hm. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution. That would really come in handy if there was flesh goops all over the place that needed burnings. Wait, wait. That was the game's way of telling me I need to go make that shitty broken formula again for the sole purpose of burning things of getting rid of all those fleshy goops that were in my way earlier stop being such a there not stop stop shaking room I turned on a light what more do you want from me out of my way chair Oh boy. Do you already sleep or are you just not sleeping or what? I didn't even go to sleep yet. Um. I heard something, I think. Probably not a good sign. Let's head down this way. To the wine cellar. Oh darn, I need a key. Time to side quest. Let's start by heading towards that voice I just heard. I'm guessing it came from up here. Jumping up the stairs. Open. Jumping around at the speed of sound. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 
Let's see what's in here. To the archives. Oh boy. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Okay, well that was weird. Hey look, a fancy hotel. To the catalogs. I do love catalogs. They're pretty good. They make the good cereal? Yeah, they make the great cereal. Hey look, a paper. I hereby offer full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years, when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court, and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. I'm sure that probably went well for that guy. Oh boy, I am having a little bit of a trip out right now. Alright, that's enough of that. Okay, doing pretty okay. Hey look, it's that painting from before. Is that just going to be everywhere? Is it going to follow me? Is it following me? I don't know. I don't like it. It feels like somebody wants to sell me something! <laughs> I told you he was on to us! Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Gonna open these dresser drawers. Somebody's shirts. Nothing good in there. Hey, look, a paper. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition. Our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert <sighs> managed to find the location. Well, apparently Daniel's going to read this one for us. Hopefully you can hear him. When I asked him about the tube again, he told me about the legend. Story, so right, but I can't help feeling it. Uh, okay, let's go this way. It only gets darker and spookier as we go. Ooh, this one's really dark. Tinderbox. Hey, look, a treasure box. Ooh, lamp oil and another tinder box. Alright, looks like nothing else in this room. So let's get out of here. Oh, hello, this room. That's a big painting. Oh boy, a chair. <laughs> Gonna toss that around for no reason. Alright, so there's some windows. Doesn't seem to be much going on in this room. I wonder what that's about. Cool. Another painting. God, there's paintings everywhere in this place. Hmm. Alright, nothing in here. I figured there'd at least be like a tinder box or something, but I guess not. So, let's see. Some more oil. Nothing. Double nothing. Triple nothing. 
What a fail. There was nothing there. Ooh, a box. Ooh, two tinder boxes. I'm finding a bunch of those now. Up, oh, enjoy listening to Daniel for a minute. Pleasant. Um, okay then. Alright. Time to do the one thing I do know what to do with. Oh, take that. You have to be swift. He didn't finish the cutscene and I already did it. Oh god. Oh. I'm gonna grab me some of this. The Star of Castle 1801. Another region rich with lores, Allstad, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stones surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor castle, Brinnenberg. The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of its widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the table, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Cool. See if we can't get ourselves out of this place. Oh boy, he's having a rough day. Wine cellar key. Ooh, another piece of paper. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brunnenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Am I supposed to be a man? Am I supposed to say, it's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. Well, I mind. I mind big time. <laughs> but you know what the worst part of all is? I never learned to 